people my people it's getting to that time of year where we're going to need a bit of pain relief and the pain i'm talking about is being surrounded by um family we may not be the biggest fans of now uncle odin here is um i always think of myself as a kind person because not only do i have the world's best giveaway in terms of um t-shirts and alcohol with a card at the end of this baby do go and watch that video click the subscribe and follow to win and i also bring you the best alcohol to help numb the pain okay so if i do two things i'll bring you the best alcohol bring you the best prizes so when it comes to pain relief i tend to like my alcohol being high strength and now the strongest gin i can legally get in australia is a navy the navy i think is for everything from 52 percent above and they generally top out about 60 70 percent so i'm about to go inland for my navy i'm going to go to healesville and healesville is about 70 kilometers due north of western port bay and it's about the same distance northeast of port phillip bay I um, looked at Google Maps and hit Brighton, uh, Black Rock, as the, uh, the little entry into the ocean. So Hillsville's an inland town. And as you can see, I've been to Four Pillars a couple lately. Four Pillars is one of the prizes. And I thought, stop it. Let's go and hit the every gin. The Navy Strength Gin. It's 58.8%. So this is definitely going to be removing a whole lot of pain. And the good thing about a gin like this is that you can drink it and it's going to make you comfortably numb and dull the kids out and they'll just hold Christmas out. But with this quality, um, and we all know Four Pillars is quality, um, the next morning if you help yourself to more than perhaps you should have, um, just rehydrate. There's no flavor, ex, you know, artificial flavors and colorings and shit in this gin um, because well, it doesn't need it. Really good booze tastes really good because it's really good booze and you don't need the basically alcoholic MSG to um, improve things. And if you think about MSG in food, MSG is notorious for making people hot and flushes. I have an MSG intolerance myself. I take it, I get headaches and the same thing is what happens when I take cheap booze. So I spent a about 80 bucks on this bottle. I think it might be a bit more, might be closer to 100. The price will be in the um, requisite place. And I am happy drinking this um, Navy Strength, in fact, most Navy Strengths, because in Melbourne, the Alison Navy Strength booze is really high quality. And I know for a fact that I can help myself do three or four of these cut one to one, and I'm not going to be hung over for two days. So I haven't gotten that bit out of the way. It's the sound of happiness because this baby's a popped up yeah the write-up is that this has got a lot of finger lime in it and finger lime is my it's a citrus um a lot of navy strengths are citrusy a lot of navy strengths um almost every navy strength i've hit is a dry gin and the simple fact for that the simple reason for that is People will produce a really good gin, and I'll knock it down to about 45%, go, yep, you beaut. I'll go, oh, gee, this tastes really good. This would make a great navy, and then jack the alcohol back up to about 50 to 60%. And that's the reason why 90% of the navy strengths you'll find are actually dry gins. This one happens to be big on the nose, the smell of happiness, it's big on the citrus. Yeah, and that's a little trick I learned at um, Broken's Way the other day. Swish around your mouth, it's all it. breathe out, blowing air over your tongue, then the alcohol, and then suck it back in and bang, you get the full flavour profile. It neat, this is, there's no, no doubt that lots of finger limes have gone into this baby. Um, it's also big on the coriander and juniper. Uh, 
um, basically, um, this gin is going to, I know, going to make a killer gin tea, okay? Um, I've got my requisite ice and pour myself a good measure of this. Not too much, I've actually got things to do. This is my second crack of this um, review because to bring you only the best, I give you only the best and the other version of this review was not up to par and I'm not going to insult you with it. This subtle review. So I'm going to mix this baby with Mediterranean, Fever Tree Mediterranean, which we know is big on the citrus as it is. So also, no one else, no one is at home. The wife's off at work. The kids are off doing at school, um, and doing God knows what. And I can sit back and enjoy a um, nice beverage, knowing that I'm not going to be disturbed. And when you're a parent, trust me, you treasure these moments. So we can see that there's a whole lot of loosing happening. That's the discoloration happening. There's oils in this, citrus oils, coriander oils, juniper. Let's see how she goes as a G and D. Oh yeah. Cut one to one, which is my preferred drink because, well, I like my gin, like my women, I like them strong. Um, oh, that is just you know, get some of this into you and just sit back and watch the numbness <laughs> arrive. Um, it's wonderful stuff. It's, the citrus is forward, the juniper is forward, coriander, it's a nice big dry gin that's got enough alcohol like there to, in there to, like I say, is to remove the discomfort of being surrounded by a whole lot of people you may not necessarily be fans of. Having said that, if you're blessed enough to have your Christmas with people, or your summers with people, who um, you really do like, get some of this into them. This is first rate booze. I mean, let's face it. When was the last time Four Pillars didn't produce a first-rate booze? That's not because I happen to have met Cameron twice and liked him. Four Pillars wins awards internationally for very good reasons, and one of the reasons is stuff like this. Um, I love a good navy, and this would be in my top four navies. Um, if you were to ask me what would be better than this, um, break into a navy. Shut up. Straight up down, Bangs Way Organic Bay would be better, um, but then Organic Bay's Navy's got a big hit of pepperberry in it. Um, yeah, they'd be the top two above it. Um, no stretch whatsoever. Fiona's Fury would be on about a par, though that is not held with head with um, the training topic water. Chris actually tells me that's best held with head with elderflower, elderflower. I think I'll watch that one. Sorry. Um, so if you're looking for a GNT that is going to be a pain remover for this Christmas or the summer, um, get this into you. It makes a lethal GNT. It's 58.8% from my friends at Four Pillars. Um, and basically slay, the, slay the, um, dr the dreaded noisy hordes, okay? Thanks for watching. Oh, and if you are not in Australia and you want to get hold of this, go and pester your local supplier, okay? Ask for it by name. Demand that they produce and hand over the good quality stuff. So if you're in the UK um, and the US and you can actually get another four pillars, I think it's the Shiraz or Old Leaf that was over there, go and say to them, okay, I've read rave reviews about this Navy strength. When are you going to get me some? I want some. Go and pester them. Ask for it by name. And you will never go wrong. This is wicked stuff. Well, I'm truly worth your money. Catch ya. Um, what am I going to do for my next one? Let's go back to flow state. I'll catch ya. Misbehave. Bye.